Welcome back to We Bought a Van. This week we're on the Isle of Mull. Breathtaking beauty, Caribbean-esque beaches and an incredible rugged landscape. We film our travels so you can come along too. Subscribe, ding the bell and enjoy. Good morning. Morning. Welcome to the Isle of Mull. After a late ferry crossing last night, we dived into this spot and we've woken up to this beautiful view. And today we're off to Fidden Farm campsite in the southwest of the island. As we've heard great things, my birthday tomorrow. So we figured we'd treat ourselves to a campsite. We spent three nights at Fidden Farm campsite to celebrate my birthday. We swam, paddleboarded and enjoyed the sunshine. We honestly couldn't believe we were in the UK, surrounded by white sandy beaches, crystal clear waters and the bluest skies. We can definitely understand why it's one of the top rated spots on the island. That morning we left Fidden Farm campsite and drove five minutes down the road to the tiny little fishing village of Fiamfort. Caught the 20 minute ferry over to the small tranquil island of Iona. Well, we found a nice little beach and that's where we spent the afternoon, just an hour or two here, letting the dogs run around, just chilling, even had a little nap. <laughs> so nice, so quiet. There's not actually much to do on the island. There's like a cafe we went to this morning, over for the beaches and the nice walks, to be honest, which has certainly given us. And for £3.70 each return, dogs, yeah, dogs are free. free. And we got to see some dolphins on the way over, which was really cool. And the captain of the boat actually like stopped the ferry and like swung it around so everyone could have a view of them, which was really cool. You think like a normal big ferry, they just keep on chugging, they don't really care. But yeah, back the engines off and uh, let everyone have a, have a little look, which is really cool. So we're gonna get packed up here now. About an hour away, aren't we, walking wise? Yeah. So a bit of a trek back and see where we're at. Winnie doesn't want to leave the beach. She's moaning at us. I'm not leaving. You gotta get back. Yeah. We need to go and get some food. We gotta find somewhere to park tonight. For hours. No. You gotta, you hours been, and hours. You know, nearly two hours. And you went on the beach this morning yeah. before we even left. Ferry back by the look of it. Popular time to go back. 
So Tash is just paying, it's uh, like a blue hut as you come in, like a little honesty box. And so it's only £10 for the night, it's pretty good. But I can see a little camping area, there's quite a few little vans there, it looks really good. And the bay looks incredible. We'll pay up and uh, head down there and go and park, find a nice spot. How'd you get on? Yeah, all good. So cute. Um, it did say where they're sold out of venison, sausages and burgers, there's a number you can call or text. Oh, right. And they'll let you know if you have any other Oh, right. What, have you got the number? Yeah, to fit in there. Oh, nice. Colour of this water. Oh my god. I mean we've seen this a lot in Scotland but it just it just I don't know, it just amazes me every time that we're in Scotland and mm. we've got like but you're like abroad, is it like we should have flown here or something? Well, this is our little spot for the night. Actually dead chuff for this for £10. You cannot go wrong. But they also sell like venison sausages here, venison burgers, um, eggs. It is the end of the day. So unfortunately they're pretty much all gone. But tomorrow we'll have a we'll have a go. Well, it's another beautiful day here in Scotland. We're going to head out on the paddleboards this afternoon over here. And there's some like little secret beaches around the corner that you can access from the land, but people don't tend to. I don't know if it's steep faces the other side or what. So we're going to get on the paddleboards this afternoon. Take Winnie and go and have a little explore. slice of paradise this afternoon. I actually found this beach last night whilst flying the drone. It's just around the corner and as you can see it's pretty inaccessible. I mean you could come down through the grass there's no path or anything. Spend an hour or so here. Might even go for a swim. What do you reckon? Does not. How the hell are we in Scotland? Well, it's a few days since we've actually picked the camera up and in that time we've moved from over here to the glorious spot we're currently in. Between that time we've popped to Tobermory because in Tobermory there's a, I say a big co-op, it's a big co-op for the island, it's not a big co-op by mainland standard. Been up there and done a food shop and then came back here because honestly we haven't seen anywhere better than this on the island. This has been perfect for us with the dogs, with working, 
with meeting people. Today, we are gonna leave here. Tash has had a really busy week at work, so we've sort of stayed in one place. But today we need to leave because we have no LPG, we have no water, we've got a full toilet, we have no food. I think we're gonna book into a campsite tonight. It just makes sense for visiting Tobermory. There is a free car park in the town, but you can't stay there overnight. Campsite so we can do all our services, sort ourselves out, because tomorrow, we're leaving Mull. The weather we've had whilst we've been here in Mull has been incredible. I don't know what we've done to deserve this, but um, yeah, really, really hot. And next week, as we head up a bit further, it's set to be even hotter. Um, there's predictions of like 22, 23, 24 degrees, which um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty good. For a little bit of lunch on our way up to Tobermory in this beautiful location. This is one of the main drives down through the island, down to the southwest. Absolutely incredible drive. We popped down to Tobermory, just gonna got some chips ready for this evening, so much food on the van. And just gonna go and fill up at like the world's smallest petrol station now, and I think it's due to close. So we're gonna quickly rush over there now and chuck some fuel in the van, because we are running on fumes. Small little pump station. Even got card reader. Very good. Very fancy. Well, that's the way it goes. Um, campsite's fully booked tonight, so we're not going in there. And they don't have a service point on site. Um, so he's recommended one, recommended a service point a bit, a bit further away. Um, I don't think, well, that's the only campsite around this area. We're only popping in there because um, we haven't been on one in a few weeks, 10 days now. And just sort of, just sort of sorted ourselves out a little bit, but that's fine. We'll go and do services. We've um, got plenty of hot water because we have plenty of sun on the solar panels. So. Uh, yeah, we'll go into our services and then find a little wild park, I think, for the night. Well, after we left you last night, uh, it went a bit peak tong to be honest. We couldn't find anywhere to stay, and when we did, there was no one there. Um, so we ended up diving into a campsite, which I will leave in the what three words below because they were fantastic, um, really, really nice people. And then we've just spent the day in a lay-by, just sorting some stuff out before catching the ferry, and that's where we are now. Thanks for coming along with us. See you on the next one. See you on the next one.